So, uh, Professor Davis, Kevin, uh, it's, I hope it's been uh, a really good week for you here at our school. You're here teaching at our uh, visiting professor program. And we are here just to, to chat, really, about anything we may find interesting. And I guess more specifically about your topics, what you've been uh, developing lately, how uh, you've been researching lately. And uh, first of all, I'd like to know, uh, what specifically have you been uh, teaching? What's your course about here at our school? Uh, what's your uh, teaching about here uh, at FGV? Well, first of all, thanks, uh, Danilo. It's, it's been an honor. Uh, uh, no, it's been your host. Yeah. <laughs> it's been terrific to be here. Yeah. Uh, I've had a really enjoyable and interesting week. Um, for the past week, I've been teaching a course on U.S. regulation of foreign corrupt practices. Sure. So it's all about the laws that the United States applies to companies and people who have paid bribes to foreign mm -hmm. public officials, and there have been some very big cases recently sure. involving <laughs> Brazil, and those have certainly been a topic of conversation in the class, and so um, it's been a real pleasure to introduce the oh. students to what's motivating those cases, what's behind them, what is the legal regime that has allowed U.S. prosecutors to uh, reach out and sure. intervene in sure. Uh, the affairs of these Brazilian companies in this way. Well, regarding your uh, specific experience in, in class teaching here at our uh, visiting professor program, you, you've just mentioned that, that students uh, would uh, mention the recent Brazilian corruption case. How has uh, the discussion been about this specific case? Uh, is there anything you, 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 you might find interesting to comment about uh, the, the, the recent Brazilian corruption cases? Well, the, I don't want to talk about the specific sure. cases too much, but the nice thing about being in this classroom has been that I have several students who are in the professional master's programs, and oh. some of them are working in-house at large Brazilian companies. And so one of the things we've talked about is how these cases affect the way that they do business. And they've been very interested in uh, the idea that U.S. prosecutors can actually dictate how companies should structure their compliance programs, decide what sort of investments to make in high-risk countries and so forth. Um, and they're wondering, and one thing we've been talking about a lot is whether the U.S. prosecutors really have the expertise and frankly the legitimacy to be able to um, make those kinds of decisions. So those are some of the issues that have come up. Um, yeah, though that, that's been the single most interesting set of conversations for me. Sure. And uh, uh, during this week, we, uh, we've been talking about uh, your uh, recent uh, research, your recent agenda. Uh, specifically, you've mentioned that, that you're about to publish a transnational bribery book. Uh, you're a, a renowned scholar on corruption, on uh, bribery. And um, I was interested because uh, you, you, you mentioned that since your book is about to be published, you've mentioned that, that maybe the, 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 the experience in class could enrich you with uh, something further, uh, topics, uh, probably not further topics, but further discussions, further points of view. Uh, has there anything uh, c come out from, from, from the discussions in class regarding your, your research agenda? It has, because the entire book is about the tension between what I see on the one hand as being a regime that's devoted to fighting impunity for corruption. Right? Uh, Twenty years ago, um, there was a sense that transnational bribery was something that um, was untouchable, that firms that engaged in this were, could operate with impunity, and that the officials who accepted those bribes really didn't have to worry about um, uh, any sort of legal punishment. Uh, that's changed, that's clearly changed, and that's a lot of what the course has been about, about how the United States and other countries that have followed the lead of the United States are trying to fight against impunity with this very aggressive anti-bribery law, uh, or set of anti-bribery laws. But that raises questions about what I call legal imperialism, right? Yeah. Have we gone too mm -hmm. far? Does it really make sense to have the United States being the policeman for the world? And those have been the, what we've been, those are the issues that we've been talking about in class, that tension between yeah, the yeah, yeah. fight against impunity on the one hand and the concern about legal imperialism on the other hand. 
And I think at this particular moment in time in Brazil, most people are sufficiently concerned about impunity oh. that um, there may be less concern about the imperialism. And it's been interesting to uh, discover that. Sure. Uh, and uh, this is not your first, ex this is your first experience in the uh, visiting professor program, yes. but for sure it's not your first experience here at our school. No, it's you're, been, a, you're an old acquaintance, uh, we could say that. I've been coming to FGV for over 10 years now. Oh, that's uh, great. And it's, uh, uh, it, it's we knew actually, each other already. Yeah. Definitely, and it's been, a, it's actually, it's quite amazing to me that this is my first time actually in a classroom teaching your students, yeah, yeah. and so that's what I was so excited that's about. That's quite a new experience. Yeah. But after all, you've been, uh, you've been uh, attending uh, our school for almost 10 years and uh, how, how, how was your um, how, how could you develop this uh, contact with our school why FGV came out as a, as a, a preferable partner for for your activities for your academic academic activities uh, after all uh, why FGV uh, could uh, come out as a, as an interesting international partner for your for your academic purpose you know? well it's partly about FGV, but it's also about the country. Brazil sure. is a fascinating country to study for someone who's interested in the relationship between law and economic development, which is what I spend most of my time thinking about. So um, that's part of it. Uh, and then FGV has been a wonderful host in so <laughs> many ways uh, in terms of its uh, interest in sponsoring research. That uh, has been very important for me. Sure. And it's also about the people. Sure. Right? Because I have a lot of yeah, friends here. Institutional as well. ties and personal ties. Definitely the personal Those ties. Those two things together, they. Yeah. they, they, they uh, yeah. yeah, so the joint research that I'd been doing with Mayra Machado, sure. that uh, was a really, or has been a really wonderful collaboration and will probably continue in various ways. And just the conversations with other members of the faculty, that's really the reason why I keep coming back, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It's so nice uh, having you here. Uh, I was uh, uh, honored uh, for being selected as your host. Uh, I've also had a great week, uh, and uh, I hope uh, we could get together uh, next time. I'm sure you're coming back here for uh, many times already. Okay. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Kate. Thank you very Thanks. much, Kevin.